Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Charlotte Ashman. Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything educational and inspirational. Now guys, you've seen the caption, right? In today's video, we're going to be looking at the environment. This is a grade six topic, okay? So um, we're gonna be looking at the first topic on the grade six science syllabus and um, Guys, I want you to grab a copy of this book, this workbook. This is my curriculum-based science workbook. And guys, I'm promising you, by the time you'd have gone through this workbook, you would cover everything that you need to know for the curriculum-based test in regards to the science exam. So if you have a copy of this workbook, I want you to pull it out, make sure that you can see it. Uh, can you see? All right, so, uh, trying to get the best. Ah, uh, so you're seeing it now. This is the workbook. Guys, you can get a copy of this workbook at all the major bookstores, okay? And remember, you can also get a copy of our workbook from learninghubebooks.com. So if you go on our website, learninghubebooks.com, and you purchase our workbook, we'll ship it to you, okay? All right, guys. So... I'm also going to be teaching from the um, digital library because we do have the e-version of this book in the digital library. Now, guys, I love this workbook because we cover all the topics that you need to know for grade six, like I said before. The environment, that's the first topic that you guys will be focusing on. Then, of course, you have energy, light, and sound. You have materials, properties, and uses, and you have human body systems, mixtures, diet, and drugs. All right, so the first thing that you guys need to know, first thing on your syllabus, the first objective is for you to formulate a definition of the environment, right? So what I want to see on my Facebook um, comments, I want to see you guys just post there a definition of the environment. What is the environment? So that's the first thing that you guys need to know. So I notice a lot of persons are signing on and saying, hi, miss, hi, miss. Hi to everybody. Um, so Kay Hortney saying this is her first time watching my live. Welcome, Kay. Um, Natasha is saying that she's late. Hope my night is going well, of course. Um, Kay is saying good night. Ramar Epic is saying good night, Miss. Danielle is saying hi, Miss. Da, 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 da. Good night. Good night. All right, guys. I want you to type for me what your um, understanding is of what the environment is. What, what is the environment? What's the environment? Come on, let's go. I want to see you type what is the environment. What is the environment, guys? So I'm giving you a minute to post it. I haven't seen anybody um, typing anything about what the environment is. I'm not moving on until I see you post what is the environment. Guys, remember, you can join us on um, Facebook. It's Learning Hub JA. So you can join us on our Facebook page. And that is where you get to post. Because on YouTube, I have um, labeled our videos as suitable for kids. So you can't comment. But on Facebook, you can post that. Um, learning hub j a so just run over to facebook and just go on um, facebook.com slash learning hub j a and you'll be able to post all right all right guys i want i'm gonna start reading your comments in 30 seconds just give me a minute what is the environment that's what i want you guys to type what is the environment and i'm going to be teaching from this page let me show you When we're teaching from Learning Hub Digital Library, I'm going to pull up my science workbook from Learning Hub Digital Library. So, guys, remember you can get books from our library, ebooks, interactive ebooks, and the URL is www.learninghubdigitallibrary.com. Let me put that in the chat. That's www.learninghubdigitallibrary. And our subscription starts at a dollar, one dollar. So you have no excuse. You have family abroad. If you don't have a card, ask them to subscribe you to the Learning Hub Digital Library so you can get access to tons of ebooks. 
and, and these books are mainly interactive books, learninghubdigitallibrary.com. All right, so let me see what you guys are saying. All right, so Tasty is saying the environment is all physical surroundings on the earth, including deserts, forests, wetland, grass, and marine and fresh waters. Um, cool Alia is saying the environment is everything in your surroundings. Alia, you need to watch your spelling. Um, Lee is saying the environment is all the things around us. Karen is saying the environment, it is our surroundings. Um, Tashina is saying um, an environment is a community. Real Bala 10 is saying, no miss, sorry, the surrounding or conditions in which a person, animal, or plant lives. Um, Karen is saying an environment is the surroundings or condition in which a person or animal lives or operates. All right, this is what I was looking for, talking about living and non-living. Xavier says the environment is the place where we live uh, in and everything living and non-living. All right, so guys, when you talk about the environment, you're talking about your surroundings, your natural surroundings and the conditions in which living organisms exist. So we're talking about everything in the physical, biological and chemical world that influences the life and development of these organisms. So these things include um, factors such as air, water, soil, climate, ecosystems, plants, animals, and all the interactions with um, among them or between them. All right, so you're talking about the environment, you're talking about your natural surroundings and everything, both um, living and non-living, that um that exists in that space all right so that's your environment guys so i see some of you touching on that some persons talked up talked about um all you're living and non-living okay Orton mentioned that yeah okay so guys i think you have a fair definition a fair understanding rather of what the environment is and that's the first thing on the grade six syllabus okay all right next thing on your syllabus guys um and notice i'm just flipping through my book goes objective by objective um let me pull up the um the book on the digital library one second guys all right so the next thing i want you to think about i want you to think about guys I want you to think about the next objective on the syllabus. I'm not going into the different types of environments, but I want to go to the next objective, which is to justify the importance of conserving the natural environment. I want you guys to tell me, why is it important for us to conserve the environment? Next, uh, next class, I'm going to look at the different types of environments. All right, why is it important for us to conserve the environment? 
Yes, guys, that's an objective on your syllabus. The importance of conserving the environment. Why? Why should we conserve the environment? As a matter of fact, I want somebody to tell me, what does it mean to conserve the environment? What, what, what does it mean? What's the syllabus asking us when it says uh, the importance of conserving the environment? What does that mean? Conserving the environment. Tell me, guys, what does that mean to conserve the environment? What does it mean to conserve the environment? Post it on Facebook. What does it mean to conserve the environment? All right, let me see what you guys are saying. Remember, I promised to pull my book up on the digital library. There I have it. All right, what does it mean to conserve the environment? So that's the book, that's the ebook, the e version of my workbook. It's on your digital library. All right, so let me see what you guys are saying. I know teacher taught that. Um, Coretta is saying, sorry, Charmaine is saying the environment is where your, your surrounds of living and non living things. Um, I guess where you're surrounded, I guess that's what she's trying to say. All right, Karen is saying because it's the only one we have. But, so you're saying that's the justification. We need to protect the environment because it's the only one we have. Sandrine Austin is saying, as Asia is saying, um, conserving means to protect the environment. All right, good. I like that answer. Ramar is saying conserving the environment is to protect it. Um... Tasty is saying, or Toasty is saying, conserving environment means, means saving your environment. Good job. Um, Gabrielle, to preserve or save the environment for other agriculture or economic use. Yeah, to protect our environment, to conserve it, okay? All right, I like that, guys. Guys, you are really smart. All right, okay, to protect the environment. That's what conserving the environment means. All right, so far so good, guys. All right, so I want you to tell me now, why is it important? All right, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me let me just say this. So everybody, well, most persons said that conserving the environment means to protect it. Good. Now, um, how do we do that? We're going to take deliberate actions, guys, to protect the environment. That's what we're going to do, right? So um, I want you to tell me now the importance. I want you to justify the importance of conserving the environment. No, that's an objective on your syllabus. Justify the importance of conserving the environment. So, okay, we know what conserving the environment means. We're taking deliberate actions to protect our environment, okay? But why? Justify that. Why should we do that? Why should we, why should we take deliberate actions to protect our environment? So, let me see you guys post that in the chat. Why should we take deliberate actions to protect our environment? Okay, guys, post that. Um, all right, so you guys, you guys are all doing well. If you, if you wish, you can post your schools, yeah, and your teachers, so we can pick up your teachers. You, you guys are giving great answers. Humble is saying environmental maintenance. What does that? What, what are you talking about? Humble, I don't want you to just type something on Facebook, you know. I want you to actually answer my question. I am talking about the second thing on your grade six syllabus, which talks about to justify the importance of conserving the environment. Tell me why. Ah, I like this answer. I love this answer, Javier. Javier says, um, it is important to conserve the environment so that we can get clean air to breathe fresh water to drink, and to water our plants. <laughs> yes, I love that. I love that. I love that. 
Um, Kay Otney saying that she goes to Gordon Memorial Preparatory and her teacher is Mrs. Stanley Brown. Mrs. Stanley Brown, I see that you're doing a good job. Awesome. And let me see. Katie goes to Friendship Primary. All right. All right, guys, remember to tell your friends that we're live. I try to come live at 7 o'clock. I just love to teach. And I, and, I, and I want to help you guys to prep for your upcoming exams. I mean, come on, prep is not so hard. And if you put, remember what I said, guys, all you need to do is to put in the work and you'll be fine, okay? So even if you're struggling in class, all you have to do is just put in some extra work and you'll be good. All right. Um, Waldencio, uh, that is Carcio. Okay, guys, I wanted to answer the question now. Um, why are you going to, what's the importance? Why do you need to conserve the natural environment? That's the question. Why do you need to conserve the natural environment? All right. So let me show you, um, let me show you the question in the book. All right. So guys, I want you to get uh, access to the digital library. It's only, you can start out only at a dollar, get a book. So you notice I skipped some stuff in the book. I'm not going to go through everything in my book, guys. Definitely not. So this is the page that we're at. Just to find the importance of conserving the natural environment. So I'm deliberately going over some stuff. All right. So let's talk about some reasons why we'd love to. Um, yeah, somebody did say to get um, fresh air and water. Yes, those are important reasons. All right. All right, so some of the things we want to do, we want to preserve um, the plants and animals, right? So uh, we want to we want to con conserve in the environment means that you know if we take care of the if we take care of the environment, we will preserve the plants and animals that there are, right? So it's it's preservation of um, you know the, the numerous plants and animal species, biodiversity, okay. We, we don't have to remember that word. We just need we just need to know that we want to preserve all the animals and plants that there are, right? And protect their habitats, okay? All right. Um, and that is why you will notice that governments sometimes create wildlife reserves and national parks, okay? All right. So we're making a safe space for plants and animals. Um, it's one justification. All right, so we want to make sure that we have clean water, forests and minerals and so on for future generations. So we don't want to we don't want to deplete everything. We don't want to be selfish guys and use up everything um, right now. We want to make sure that we leave something for you know persons who are going to live on the earth when we are all God right okay so one thing we said um we want to preserve biodiversity so we want to we want to make sure that we take care of the environment so that plants and animals the numerous plants and animals that are there survive right another reason why we need to do this we want to leave clean air fresh water minerals and so on for people who are going to come when we are dead <laughs> right so we don't want to use up everything. We don't want to be selfish. We want to leave something for future generations. So that's one very important reason why we need to take care of the environment, right? All right. Another very important reason why we need to take care of the environment is to mitigate climate change, right? So we want to reduce our greenhouse gas emission, right? So um, we want to mitigate climate change. So that's a, that's a very important reason why we need to take care of our environment, okay? All right, so another important reason is that we want to restore habitats. That's very important. We want to restore habitats, habitat restoration, all right? So that's one way, that's one reason why we need to take care of our environment, okay? All right, here's another good reason now. So we're talking about the importance of conserving the natural environment. All right. And of course, um, like we said, we we want to make sure that we have clean air, 
fresh water. We want to ensure that we can live and survive properly, you know, um, with the resources that are available. Okay. So those are some reasons why we need to protect the environment. All right. We're going to look at something else on the syllabus. And the next thing on the syllabus, let me share my page with you. All right, the, the next objective is to outline the effects of human activities on the environment. Now, I'm not going to go through every page in my book. Let me share this with you. I'm not going to go through every page in my book, guys. Definitely not. I needed to buy the book, go out and get the book. Let me show you the book again. This is the book. You want to get this book. This book goes through your syllabus objective by objective. So go and purchase the book. It's at major bookstores and you can purchase it from us at learninghubebooks.com. All right, so the next question is, we want to talk about some ways that, let me just, I'm going to quote exactly what the ministry is asking you to know. It says, outline the effects of human activities on the environment. All right, so human beings, we, we can have positive effects on the environment, we can have negative effects on the environment. Okay, so let's talk about some of the effects that we have on the environment. The first thing in that book is slash and burn. Now, slash and burn, how does that affect the environment? First of all, I don't want to just come and say slash and burn. I want you guys to tell me, what is slash and burn? When you hear the term slash and burn, what comes to mind? And no teacher would have told you about slash and burn. What is slash and burn? And tell, tell me, how does that negatively affect the environment? All right, so Katie is saying, my name is Kasani. I guess you're using your mommy's phone. Um, Kasani, Bailey, Friendship Primary. My teacher is Miss Claudia Hunter. Big up, Miss Hunter. All right, guys. Um, what is slash and burn? So that's one way that we negatively, I'm giving you the answer for this. We negatively affect the environment by doing slash and burn. What is slash and burn, guys? Come, guys, post that on Facebook. What is slash and burn? All right, so what is slash and burn? All right, um, Natasha is saying it's a method of farming that involves clearing the land by destroying and burning all the trees and plants on it, farming there for a short time, and then moving on to clear a new piece of land. All right, so slash and burn, guys. Yeah, you gave me that answer, I would give you maybe. Um, uh, half out of one. Good. That's a good answer. All right. Slash and burn as the name suggests. When you slash, slash, you cut down the plant, you cut down, you cut down the vegetation, cut down the trees, and you're burning them after you've done that so that you can um, farm. It's an agricultural method, right? And mainly small farmers practice that. So they want to farm on a piece of land, they cut down the trees, and they burn it, they burn them so that um, they can do their farming. That's what slash and burn is. And slash and burn really has some negative consequences. So let's talk about those. What are some of the negative consequences of slash and burn? All right, guys, come on. What are the negative effects of slash and burn? Negative effects. I want you guys to give me some of the negative effects of slash and burn. So we see that um, it's an agricultural method where farmers want to grow some crops. Let me share my screen with you. And they just cut down the trees, burn, and they plant their, their crops. Now, okay, good. I see some persons making up, um, posting some stuff. All right, so negative effect, deforestation. Yes, um, you're cutting down the trees. Yeah, deforestation. 
Um, I see somebody giving a good one, destroying other species of animal habitats. All right, let's stop for a while and talk about destroying animal habitats. Now, guys, think about this. So um, when, when you think about slash and burn, if you're in class and you have no clue what Miss Arthur is talking about, oh, what is slash and burn? It's easy, guys, so easy. Slash, cutting. Burn, you know what burn is. You use fire to, you know, um, um, get, let the fire consume whatever is there, right? So slash and burn. We know what burn is. Slash means just to cut, right? So we're cutting all the trees and we're burning them. Now, negative consequences are a lot. Think about this, guys. One, deforestation. We're cutting down the trees. And think about this, too, guys. Notice that the tree roots, they hold, hold the soil together, right? So that can um, be a, a factor in erosion, right? So um, if you are removing the, the, the roots, you're cutting down trees, then you, you're, 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 you're influencing soil loss when, when, when there is rain, you know, because you don't have the tree roots holding the soil together. So that's a negative um, consequence. When you burn, guys, I want you to think about this. If you're doing a test and, you know, you see something about negative effect of slash and burn, think about the slash part where you cut down the trees, deforestation. Think about the roots not being able to hold the soil together, right? And I want you to think about burning, the burning part now, um, the negative effects of um, smoke going up into the atmosphere, right? So air pollution and some of the things that how air pollution negatively affects you. I mean, you know that there are a number of health um, um, conditions. So you're talking about um, um, smoke can can negatively affect your asthma. You know, um, you know, um, some some people um, suffer um, from uh emphysema let's see, let's see what that, that 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 just comes to my mind but i'm thinking about um long related problems okay um by inhaling a lot of smoke so you can think about that um yeah so you can think about um we, we talk about loss of habitats now think about this guys um if you cut down the trees right um, you might have bats living in the trees. You might have birds living in the trees or feeding off um, the, the, the trees. Um, you might have animals like rats and whatever, uh, mongoose and all of that living under the trees, right? Now, when you cut down the trees and you remove the habitats, then you're displacing these animals. They have nowhere to live. So think about that. Where are the birds going to live? Where are they going to get food to eat and so on? So yeah, you're negatively in influencing um, the, the, the habitats of um, a number of plants and animals when you do slash and burn. All right. Um, I was asking a question just now. Guys, keep posting your answers on Facebook. I'll read them in a second. Sec I'll read them in a second. All right, so I wanted to think about, yeah, coughing, wheezing. Um, some people some people might have chest tightness, cough, chronic cough, right? Those are some things that happen to people who inhale a lot of smoke. All right, so, yeah, so when we talk about emphysema, I, I wanted to look that up. And you're talking about damage to your lungs. Yeah, so yeah, smoke will, smoking, inhaling smoke, smoke will cause that, all right? So, somebody said lung cancer, yeah. Anything to do with your, you know, your lungs, breathing in bad air. That can negatively affect you. So, you know, if teacher asks you to to um to talk about the negative effects of slash and burn. You can talk about so many things, guys. What I would do is talk about the slashing part and the negative effects first, and then I would focus on the burning part and talk about the negative effects. All right. So that's one thing you want to pay attention to. Um, that's one way that we negatively affect the environment, guys. All of that is in this book's appearance. 
You want to just grab a copy of this book. It's only 2,500, all that I'm going through. And I'm following the syllabus, objective by objective. All right, let's look at another um, topic in the book. And like I said, I'm not going to go through everything in my book. I want you guys to go and get the book. All right, so planting trees. All right, let's, let's look at planting trees because I don't want to just look at the negative things. Planting trees. Let's talk about planting trees. How does that affect the environment how does planting trees and affect the environment All right, let me see you put those in um, on Facebook. How does planting trees affect the environment? All right, let me see what you guys are writing. Planting trees. All right, so I don't see anything. All right, I don't see you guys post anything about planting trees. All right, you, you, get, you guys are still on Slash and Burn because um, Teshi is saying, talking about respiratory diseases that affect the lungs. I don't hear, I don't hear you talk anything about um, planting trees. We, we're past that now. Nisha is talking about the lungs again. Okay, guys, come on, give me um talk about how planting trees affect the environment all right so um all right so zafir is giving a good answer it helps to hold up the soil and prevent erosion and it improves the water shed areas and make the air cleaner all right dejana is saying more oxygen um Javier, you want to watch your spilling all right and um, you just, you, it makes the air cleaner, not more cleaner. All right. Um, Dejana, more oxygen. Um, no, guys, prevent. Listen, I hear teachers complaining all the time, you know, when they ask you to, um, Romar, Monopoly. Romar actually write that, let me see, it attracts lightning. Seriously? I'm asking you how planting trees positively affect the environment. Let me explain what that means. How, what, so I am saying that planting trees is a good thing. That's what positive means. Positive means that it is good. Negative means that it is bad. So you can't tell me about it attracts lighting. Come on. We're asking you to give us positive things about planting trees. So, um, Ramar, I expect you to stick and stay in this class because you have a lot of things to learn all right um diana is saying it gives you oxygen um more oxygen to breathe um um alfia it says increased rainfall um this person is saying helps to build more habitats for animals all right Cody is saying it doesn't have any effect. Planting trees, come on, Cody. I know Miss or Sir taught you about um, some of the positive effects of planting trees. All right, let's talk about some of them. So one that we can think about is cleaner air, right? Um, so you know that trees release oxygen and it's essential for us to breathe. All right, trees also positively affect our temperature. So where you have a lot of trees, the, the temperature um, tends to be cooler and it makes it more comfortable during hot weather. All right. And tree, trees provide homes for birds and insects and so on. Um, trees also helps to prevent soil erosion because remember I said before that the roots hold the soil together, hold the soil in place, and that prevents it from washing away um, during heavy rains. All right. Trees also act as filter 
filters for water. So um, what the trees do, they absorb excess water during rain and then they release it slowly. And that's, that um, can reduce flooding. And the trees also trap pollutants. So they clean, they help to clean water. And where you have trees, you have more fertile soils because the leaves, when they, the leaves fall to the ground, they break down and they add nutrients to the soil and that makes it better for plants to grow. And something that you guys cannot deny, trees positively impact our surrounding because they make the place more beautiful. Yeah. I see somebody says that trees produce fruit. Yeah, of course, lots of trees give us food to eat. <laughs> yeah, they're fruits. Good job. That's good. Let me put you up. Althea Leng said that. Good job. All right. So what else can we say about planting trees? Um, also, do you know that there are a lot of persons who work in um in with trees? They work in the forestry department, right? So trees also provide jobs for people, believe it or not. And what else can we say about planting trees? Of course, we did speak about fruits and nuts. They give us food. All right. So as you can see, guys, we have lots of positive things that we can say about planting trees. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I want you guys to get this workbook. It's my curriculum based textbook workbook. It's approved by the Ministry of Education. I want to make sure that you guys can see. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, there we go. I need to figure out the best way. Yeah, so it's a curriculum based test science and it's grade six, okay? So this is per practice for grades four, five, and six. That's just the name of my series. This book is for grade six students, see? It's for grade six students, okay? And this covers the entire grade six syllabus, the entire syllabus, okay? Once you... <laughs> Karen Silberny said, Miss, put me up. Once you go through that workbook, you'd have gone through the entire syllabus. Guys, remember that I come on at 7 o'clock every evening. I want to do a topic from grade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'll just pick a grade and I'll just go through a topic, right? Um, so tonight we looked at the environment. We're not done because we have many, many more things that we could look at. Let me just show you something, guys. Um, you guys can look at these. Emptying chemicals into rivers, that has a lot of negative consequences. So that's one way that humans negatively affect the environment. Discarding garbage in gullies, that is another way that we negatively in, impact the environment. Backyard burning, that's another way we negatively impact. Deforestation, we cut down the trees. Overfishing, that's another way we negatively impact. Crop rotation, that's a way that we positively impact the environment. Driving a motor vehicle, oh, that has a lot of negative consequences, especially with our air quality. Dumping garbage into rivers, that's bad. Mining has some negative consequences. Yes, we get things from the mines, but of course, it has some negative consequences. Spraying crops with chemicals, that's we, we negatively impact the environment um, that way. Yes, we get um, um, food, but um, that has some consequences as well. Manufacturing. Um, also has some negative consequences on the environment. So guys, I want you to just grab a copy of this workbook. Grab a co copy. Picking up garbage, we do that all the time. That has some positive effects on the environment. All right, so guys, you can go through those. Um, and the next thing that is on your syllabus is to investigate features or soils of different environments. And we're going to look at that when next we meet. Features are, or soils soil of different environment we're still under we're still under the environment okay so guys what i wanted to do one of two things you can grab a copy of this workbook it's two thousand five hundred dollars and it's available in the major bookstores or you can go to our website learning hub digital library and just sign up you can get the book for a dollar one dollar guys i don't want any excuse i want you guys to go to the digital library and get access to these resources and the beautiful thing about the digital library guys is that the books are interactive 
all right? The books are interactive. And this particular science book that you're looking at is approved by the Ministry of Education. So you know you're getting quality, okay? So guys, I wanted to go to Learning Hub Digital Library. Let me show you something, guys. You have hundreds of books that you can choose from, hundreds of books. Ah, somebody says, Miss, my teacher was talking about conserving in science today. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're, we're coming off now because you guys have to wake up early in the morning. We're going to come on at um, 7 tomorrow evening. So, guys, you see, you have tons of books in the digital library that you can choose from. See? Lots of books, guys. So, I want you to, guys to get your parents to sign up on the digital library so you can use these books. And access starts, guys, at only $1. That's Learning Hub Digital Library. That's where you can get all these ebooks. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in another video. Brandon is asking for me to put him up. Brandon, see, I put you up. See you again in another videos, guys. Have a good night. Bye.